Those Damn Ross Kids is a podcast for adults, and the opinions we express do not reflect the opinions of our employers or even ourselves. If you would like to support the show, go to duckfeed.tv slash tip jar and check out our Patreon campaign. I had a friend who had a bong, who had a bong named Hitler. <laughs> Those Damn Ross Kids, a conversation between brothers featuring Chris and Cole Ross. How much, uh, how much Orange is the New Black have you watched? I think five episodes. Mm. Seemed like you were further ahead of me. Mm, I, yeah, I, was, I, fell, I fell asleep. <laughs> oh, so it just kept going? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I just... I, I watched well, the first two episodes like midday yesterday, and then when I went back in the night, it was it was all the way through. Yeah, when you fall asleep on the PlayStation Three. Oh. See, I, I have I got my own Netflix. You did? Yeah, I just didn't change over the PS Three. <laughs> oh, okay. Huh. Yeah, when I got that Amazon Fire Stick. Yeah. For the kid. Mm-hmm. I got another one Hmm. because if we were, you only have, because like what on the account, you can only have two devices streaming at once. Oh, okay. Yeah. So So if all all of us were watching at the same time, it would have. Right. You you would have not been able to use your Netflix account. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Which I had no problem with, but I'm always (laughs) like, Chris. Think of Uncle Uncle Cole. He really doesn't have much else. Right. (laughs) Don't take that away. She, you know, she's very emotionally intelligent. Don't do that to Mr. Steal Your Girl. <laughs> Why did you teach her to call me that? I don't know. <laughs> is that a rap thing? Is that a, is that a, is that the name of a rapper? I think so. Oh. <laughs> but just you had her walk in like I hadn't seen her in a couple of weeks. And then she uh, and she says, hey, Cole. I was like, no, no. What's his name? And then in front of everybody I said, hey, Mr. Steal Your Girl. <laughs> right. The, the only the only two like pop hip, hip hop names I know are Mr. Steal Your Girl and Miss Jackson. Sorry, Miss Jackson. <laughs> Isn't that song like twenty years old I now? Am for real. You, yeah. might as, you might as well be dropping like boys to men heat. Like Nah, man. Mm, I, I don't know. Boys to men, sorry. Nah, I, I, they, like they, they they dress very nice, I think. And boys they, they, to they, the they, men. They, they, they sang they sang in harmony. Sweaters. They, they, they wore sweaters. Sweaters, but still, like, so they somehow incorporated. How do you incorporate a tie into a sweater? Do you put the sweater over a dress shirt with a tie on it? Yeah. Okay. I believe so. Hmm. I don't know. Ooh, Madame Tussauds made a, a wax figure that the trans guy or girl from Orange is the New Black. Oh, the trans woman? Yeah, I saw that too. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't know. The first uh, the first transgender uh, entry into mm-hmm. Madame uh, Tussauds. Yeah, you, you Google to so watch like one time and then it's just all over your shit. Yeah, you, you could carry your pigeons dropping them. They're really, really determined. I got this big monitor so that I can always have the two so cam going. <laughs> oh, my God. If there was two so cam. It's like one one quadrant is the two so cam. The, the bottom right is like a, a, what the nest of bald eagles. <laughs> and then the left half is my browser. I'm just picturing like you can you hide the cameras right so people so that people don't really know that they're being watched but you give the web control to just like you know jump from camera to camera right there's like a so you can follow people around and see what they do hmm. see, see what they do to them yeah you, you come to a Y in the road when you Google scat porn <laughs> what do you, I mean is that is that so much a Y it seems like it'd be an expressway. <laughs> no, you, 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 there's there's only two ways to go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what, what do you mean? One of them involves vocalization, and the other one involves, you know, rabbit shit. <laughs> no, rat, rabbits are herbivorous. Scat is for carnivores. My bad. Yeah, it's it's leavings. I think. Sorry, bear yeah. poop. <laughs> yeah, bear poop. Bear poop and Bear poop and shisa. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> why were you scoo- like? Why were you googling for that? I didn't. I just made it up. Oh, okay. Okay. I was just thinking about what scat porn could be. Oh, yeah. And I was like, like wait, there's only two. And that, those are two different directions. <laughs> yeah. those, are, those are two different moods. Yeah. Those are those are two different modes. Moods. Yeah. 
mo- modes of thinking, I guess. Like they're they're different ethoses. You know, they really play it up. Like the women, they they set an unrealistic expectation, right? You know, just in terms in terms of how vocal they should be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You never know. That's why I always keep a, a, a shopping bag full of bear shit in my trunk. <laughs> you don't want to walk up with the wrong kit. You need to be prepared. Right. Yeah. I don't know. You need to be prepared for that kind of thing. How are you? How are you feeling? Has anything? I'm a little, I'm a little down. Me too. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not feeling great. Hmm. Like uh, like two and a half months ago, I felt horrible. Mm-hmm. And then about three weeks after that, I felt like great, like on top of my game. Yeah. And, I, you know, I, I, I had shit on lockdown. I was ahead of stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. I was waking up in the morning ready to go. I was sleeping like like a bear in winter. With your bag. And then like three weeks ago, it just hit a wall. Yeah. Early summer, like you fall into these patterns, right? But like early summer is always a really bad time for me. In terms, of, in terms of mood, and like, 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 it's not like anything happens in general around that time. There's nothing that, there's nothing that really stands out that says I can pinpoint exactly this is what it is. But like, I will find a reason to be really just bummed out, like the second it starts getting warm. Yeah, I don't know why. Because I've been outside, I've been in the sun. Yeah, I've been walking like yeah, you've been you know, moving around, walking a bunch, like five yeah. miles a day. Mm-hmm. Been out playing like at the park, you know, with the kid. Yeah. I have no reason to be down. Yeah. I'm down. I was, I was just wondering if something catastrophic had happened because, because here we go. I've got a, I've got a kind of a breakfast sandwich that I, that, that I like, that I buy at the <laughs> store to the one, the, the one you made on the machine. <laughs> no, 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 this is, this is different. This is the, the, you know, the, the machine requires it like that. That's a bespoke. It's a, it's a bespoke breakfast machine. Um, you know, they have to put a bunch of stuff into it. Whereas like, you know, I enjoy, you know, having like a frozen breakfast sandwich that I can put in and special K makes a, uh, like a, like a low cal, it's like a 200 calorie breakfast sandwich. It's like egg white and turkey sausage on like a, like a flat, like a flatbread kind of thing. Sounds horrible, but go ahead. It's, it's, it's t- like, it's, you know, like it's probably because of like salt or whatever, but it's like, it's fine. It does, it does for like a quick fix in the morning, you know, Be- because salt. Yep. <laughs> and, and, uh, the, the reason I ask is because their, the, their directions are incredibly specific. Okay. Okay. And, like they, 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 and, and there, there's one particular thing that I, that I didn't follow. And I'm wondering where this is going to crop up. This could be years down the line where this is going to come get me. They don't just say, put this on a, on a paper towel in the, in the, in the microwave. They say, they say, put it on a folded paper towel. I thought you were supposed to wrap it. No, no, this is like this one. You put it on a folded paper towel. Mm. It says set it on top of a folded paper towel. And I, I used one layer. I used one layer, um, two days ago. And I'm wondering where this is going to crop up. And because nothing bad is, well, I guess I, guess I haven't been to the doctor. I haven't been diagnosed with anything. Um, I'm wondering if it's, if, if it's actually like had an, an impact on those who are close to me. Mm. Yeah. You know, those talking, uh, gift cards or, you know, like, Oh, like, like where you record them or where like when you open it up, it's like a, it's like a, uh, uh, oh gosh, a, a slinky that pops out and then like the, it plays twist and shout. Yeah. Like the minute you open the box to your breakfast sandwich, there's a female voice that says you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Just by buying it. I haven't even done anything yet, lady. No, you open it. <laughs> right. You open it. You're doing it wrong. Huh? Mm, uh, like all women. <laughs> hey, Chris, what episode is this? 171. Yeah, of the uh, good comedy podcast, Those Damn Ross Kids. Your name is? Chris. My name is Cole. And we're here to entertain your asses. Have you seen Mad Max yet? Uh, no. G- go see Mad Max. Why? Because it's really good. Oh, where, where are you at on Mad Men? <laughs> <laughs> no, not very far, Chris. I'm not mm. going to lie. In the, yeah, the seven. 70- watch. Good? Just watch like five seasons and yeah. then stop. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, so one of those one of those things that we're talking about is a two hour movie. Uh, the other one is seven seasons. Uh, you know, so you're you're telling me to sign up for uh, ninety one hours. It's seven seasons of modern television. Well, no, I mean, but I'm still Only like thirteen 90... episodes. Right, we've still ni- ni- ninety one. We've yeah, we've been over. Not everything can be mash, Chris. But no, ninety one. Like that, that, that's still ninety one hours uh, minus the commercial time. So cut that in about you know, three quarters. So that's still about eighty two hours of. Uh, hmm. That's still about eighty two hours of, of entertainment 
you're asking me to sign on for. Whereas I'm just saying, go see this delightful movie. If, I heard it was violent and horrible. Well, yeah, like one of the most violent movies that has been it's made. Not, it's ever. not. It's not gory though. Is the thing like? It, like it's not like a. Uh, yeah, it, there, there's violence because it's one gigantic action. And people who are li- listening to this are so bored of uh, of hearing about this movie. But I want to make the entreaty to you. It is one gigantic action scene, but there's no like gore. People die left and right, but it doesn't like revel in it. It just kind of moves on. Oh, I don't know. Do, do you not like violent movies? I forget where you fall on that. No, I, I don't like movies, really. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I haven't seen a movie I've liked since um, Back to the Future 2. <laughs> it's been a bleak 25 years. Yeah, it's been awful. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I really don't care for a lot of movies, actually. Oh. I don't know why. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, there's movies that I like. Yeah. But, you know, in general, like going to see a movie in the theater, it's been a long time. What about like Grand Budapest Hotel? You liked that when we went to see it? Yeah, but uh, I'm no, saying, no, yeah, no, those no. are very, very, yeah, but the, what one out of the last, out of like 500 movies that have, that have been released since? I suppose. No, yeah, no, and, and that, that's why I hate being like contrary, uh, contrary example guy. Yeah, I guess that's what I'm saying is, is that like if it's some, from somebody that I know that mm-hmm. I like, mm-hmm. of course I'm going to like it. Yeah. I'm just talking about like, I don't know what, I you know, I assume Mad Max was a, was like, you know, like a comic inside a, a bubblegum wrapper or something at one time. <laughs> And then somebody was like, oh, damn, we better make a movie out of this. Mm-hmm. And you know, like Dagwood. <laughs> the Blondie movie. Cast, yeah. your, cast your ideal Blondie movie right now. Uh, I, The Man from Mars, I think, was the good video. What? I think it wasn't Blondie, The Man from Mars. <laughs> I think you're thinking of one way or another. No. Blondie. Man from Mars. Yeah. Man oh. from Mars. That's that's a Blondie song. That's Chrissy Hine. Uh is that who Blondie is? I, I believe that she is she is a key figure in Blondie. Yeah. Toe to toe, dancing very close, barely breathing, almost comatose. Wall to wall, people hypnotized, and they're stepping lightly. Hang each night in rapture. God, that's such like they don't make lyrics like they used to. <laughs> uh back to back sacro little sacroiliac sacroiliac sure spineless movement and a wild attack face to face at least solitude and it's finger popping 24 hour shopping in rapture hmm yeah fab five freddy told me everybody's fly dj is spinning and saving my mind flash is fast flash is cool i feel feel like you changed artists on me no yeah the song is just bananas (laughs) yeah It really is. It's, a, it's it's like a it's like a Sonic U thing. They change genres mid uh, mid, yeah. mid mid verse. Yeah. No, this is my favorite part. And you don't stop. Sure shot. Go out to the parking lot and you get in your car and you drive real far and you drive all night and then you see a light and it comes right down and it lands on the ground and out comes a man from Mars. <laughs> and you try to run, but he's got a gun and he shoots you dead and he eats your head. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're in the man from Mars. You go out at night eating cars. You eat Cadillacs, Lincolns too, Mercury's and Subarus. <laughs> they just they, they they turn it into a turn it into just oh like one of those commercials that you can recut for different local car dealerships. I think basically. Yeah. And you don't stop. You keep on eating cars. Then when there's no more cars, you go out at night and eat up bars where people meet. <laughs> This isn't a real song. Oh, the the video is even worse, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I I think I saw this on VH1 pop up video or whatever that yeah. that show was called. So so now so there's no more cars. Now you're eating bars because that rhymes. Oh yeah. <laughs> you go into the bar and they say face to face, dance cheek to cheek, one to one, man to man, dance toe to toe. Don't move too slow because the man from Mars is through with cars. <laughs> You know what? He's so done with cars. Yeah. You know what? The, the, the man from Mars, he's like, at one point he said it in front of his family. You know what? I'm really, I'm pretty down with cars. And then pretty soon he's the guy who likes cars and everything that he gets is a car, right? Like, Oh, I thought you loved cars. Well, I did. But now I'm eating bars. Now he's eating bars. Yeah. Wall to wall, door to door, hall to hall. <laughs> he's going to eat them all. Rapture. Be pure. <laughs> Take a tour through the sewer. Don't strain your brain. Paint a train. You'll be singing in the rain. I said, don't stop. Do punk rock. That's that's baller. That is a baller song. Yeah. Huh. 
Yeah, man to man, body muscular, seismic decibel by the jugular. Wall to wall, tea time, technology, and a digital ladder. No sign of bad luck in Rapture. <laughs> this the song is called Rapture, not the Man from Mars. Oh well, my bad. No, just so people know, I I had to Google that so I could so I could follow along and make sure that you weren't just like going scat style off the dome making shit up. <laughs> oh no, this is yeah, this <laughs> no, is this pure... this is this is uh this, this is vintage. Yeah, th- th- what what year? This came from a time and a place. Oh, this lady's fucking whack. Oh, 1981. Yeah. Oh, God. Huh. Anyway, yeah, that's Rapture. Or, yeah, that's... Yeah. Or Man from Mars, as I remember it. Yeah. Huh. Oh, oh. fantastic. Hey, Chris, you got a story for me <laughs> that isn't about eating cars and bars? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess, if you want. Oh, we, can, we can continue riffing. I'm fine. I just... That seemed like a good... Oh, what? oh just, just a quick bit of business. This is not so much a story as a... Uh, yeah, as like a PSA. Okay. Stop buying poor people canned green beans. Oh yeah, like the uh, canned green pean, can, uh, green peans. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of men from Mars. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's a uh, like it, it's a uh, it's there's a glut. It's like like green beans, canned corn, and pumpkin pie filling. Every single uh, uh, like food pantry. That's all they got. Yeah. Just in fact, stop buying food. <laughs> just give them money. Yeah. So they can, yeah. So they can get their own food. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, where's this come from? Like, what's what's your what's your uh, exposure? To- okay. So Hurricane Sandy victims. This is somebody from some sort of like charity advice thing or whatever. Hurricane Sandy victims were, were quickly awash in clothing donations with, with when what they needed was flashlights, batteries, supplies to stay warm, not your old high school T-shirts. <laughs> So here's five things that you should give instead of food, okay? Okay. Toilet paper. Always. Tampons. Okay. Or feminine hygiene stuff, you know. Yeah, we just give them the option. Tampons ain't your speed. <laughs> Quit saying it, tampons. <laughs> or, or, you know what, always say tampons. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't go halfway with this. Yeah, that, that, that's a why. You know, the totally different Moad. <laughs> Totally different monad, like the philosophical one god. Moad. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Your old bike. Oh, I hey, can buddy, see that. Be, hey, buddy, get a job. Here's a bike to go to it. That actually makes a tremendous amount of sense to me. Right. Yeah. School supplies. Fucking learn something, dude. Maybe no, you can get like, a job. Like for their kids, because like you can't count on the school to actually buy that stuff. Like teachers oh, have not... to buy that out of their own pocket. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Like if, like just that that can be a drain on a family if they don't have if they're not meeting their needs. Yeah. Reusable gr- grocery bags. I could also see that. Yeah. Because, like, they use public transportation and they could carry their shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. That's all ridiculously sensible. And, and like, isn't that <laughs> what did they say? Like, eventually, like, after 9 11 or after Hurricane Katrina, everybody said, hey, let's go give blood. And they had way too much blood to actually use. Right. Something like that. Like, you know, just pretty much it, it is a it is a seller's market in terms of determining who gets what. Like I mean, all the clothes, right? Like I mean, you know, pretty much all of the like clothing from the from the losing team of the Super Bowl that's over in Africa. So you can't count on that. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So moving away from well, actually moving into Did deeper or in or along with that. Yeah. Um, so like, you know, those people that you're donating, donating to, they, they probably don't do anything during the day, like on a Tuesday at 10. <laughs> it's just, let's just say that. Okay. Yeah. They don't have anywhere let's to just go. generalize that. Right. Yeah. And it, let's assume that these people live in Iowa. Okay. Okay. Iowa Supreme court endorsed the right to be drunk on your front porch. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy that this got that that this got that high in the yeah. in the Iowa system. Ruling that a woman can't be convicted of public intox while standing on her front steps. Right. I assume you have this story. Yes. Okay. What, what else you know about it? Well, just, just the idea that uh, the, the the front steps of your home are not considered public space, um, you know, unless you invite people up, and like unless unless it is a uh, like a commonly accepted part of like the sidewalk or infrastructure, right? Right. And just the yeah the the idea that the the, the police were trying to uh, trump up or charge with that, and somehow 
I, I don't know where she got the resources for this. If this was like, you know, an NSLU kind of thing where it got, uh, it, it brought her up to the top, but, um, uh, yeah, like <laughs> this went to the Supreme court and like, I'm, I'm down with this. Like that, yeah. like, like why else would you have a porch? Yeah. So the logic behind it, and this is a quote, uh, in fact, from one of the judges on the Supreme Court. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is what he wrote. If the front stairs of a single family residence are always a public place, it would be a crime to sit there calmly on a breezy summer day and sip a mojito. (laughs) That sounds delightful. Celebrate a professional achievement with a mixed drink of choice or even based meat on the grill with a bourbon infused barbecue sauce. Unless one first obtained a liquor license. <laughs> I think this guy might be projecting a little bit too much of his life onto these. <laughs> I think, yeah, I, I don't think, I don't, okay, uh, maybe a growler of malt liquor. <laughs> a growler. I'm going to go down to the party source, you, you know, get, get some artisanal, get an artisanal growler of their finest, of the finest steel reserve. It's the, it's the steel reserve reserve. It's the reserve where they keep their steel reserve. <laughs> I mean, I, okay so so don't answer this question if you actually have access to the stat and i don't want to like you know I'm, I, okay so i'm the, now i'm curious because i was about to say i bet my blood alcohol content's been that high i don't know that it ever has but it might might have been high enough to do that well to get arrested no 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 i'm talking about <laughs> I'm t- I'm, no i'm talking about to drink a growler or a steel reserve oh i had my malt liquor phase yeah, but everybody did. Yeah, and I was more of an old English kind of guy. Uh, still oh, reserve. <laughs> well, no, like, no, it all sounds horrible. I'm not. I yeah, no, still so, like old English is too sweet, way too sweet. No, I, I like well, when you when you get that low in quality um, of the of the beverage. Steel reserve freaks me out because you can't see inside the can. I at least, get some, at some, least with OE, you see what's you see what's you're, you see what you're getting. Some fortified wine. Mm, yeah, get a little bit of wild Irish rose. Great knee high. Yeah, <laughs> great Nehi. <laughs> wait, Nehi is wait, that's like a soda? Is that like a Shasta? Or is Nehi actually a beer? I don't know. I thought it was fortified wine. No, like a like Nehi is that, that that sounds like something that like like a, like it's a kind of like regional pop from like Toledo. I, I think I've heard like I think I've heard uh, uh like Radar O'Reilly talk about drinking Nehi. Radar's not Radar that's all Radar drank, by the way. Nehi? Yeah, great Nehi. Huh. <laughs> so I pinned your reference. Yeah. Okay. But cool. I don't. But radar is not from Toledo. Klinger is. Oh yeah. Sorry. Whoops. Yep. Yeah. Radar is what? He he was supposed to be seventeen, but he was going bald by by the time he was twenty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. I guess I guess a tour of Korea for doctors is eleven years. <laughs> Well, you know, they, they they could have been like a 24 kind of thing. There could have been some dilation happening. Mm. Um, no, but if, if you if you have this figure, um, you know, don't don't play the game. But let's do an over under on this woman's uh, blood alcohol content. Which again, I'm not passing judgment on somebody drinking outside right. by their by their house. Like I've done that. But uh, like, give me give me an over under. Um, over point one nine. Yes, indeed. And I would I would say you're close, but you're actually like way off. Um it's point two six seven, which is uh um more than three t- <laughs> Which is drinking Jim Beam straight from a McDonald's cup. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Uh point two six seven. And now I'm wondering, like, I kinda wanna get one of those consumer grade <laughs> breathalyzers clear a week because that's how long it would take me to uh take me to get the like to recover from that. See what point two six seven feels like. I re- I don't remember what it feels like. Have you have you, <laughs> you, you have you been clocked? Have you been clocked at point two six seven? I have. Okay. Ah, uh, point two four actually. Oh wow. Yeah, point two four eight. Huh. My like my body shuts down before it hits that though. Like I, I like I just I don't like I guess it's passing out. Like I I, I can only presume I've passed out or blacked out. Like I've lost time on on alcohol before, but I don't. I I can't, I've never like woken up outside of a bed. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, like on a, like on a couch or something. But like, I, I've pretty much always made it to made it made it to a uh, a state sanctioned sleeping location. I'm yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why? Oh shit! Was gonna get real for a minute. Oh, I, I censored myself. Okay, you were about to reveal too much. Nobody needs to know that. <laughs> I respect that. I, res- I respect your restraint. 
<laughs> but yeah, this is uh, you know, I, I could see this being used to hassle people. Like this kind of seems like one of those one of those ways that uh, police would use to, uh, um, to 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 hassle people who look different than them. Like, you know. But oh, come on! I mean, I just like 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 anything that gives uh, that 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 gives the police the ability to hassle you when you're on your property is just is just bad news. I think. But oh well. So yeah, at least this is in Iowa and this sets precedent. So that kind of garbage doesn't have to happen. Of course, if you're out there, you know, blaring, uh, uh, well, what's that? You got what I need. <laughs> then, <laughs> you know, like, like, like D and Dennis, then, uh, then that's a problem. But mm. Chris, are you aware of the uncanny Valley? Mm, no, oh, you, you, you know, this, it's the, it's the principle, um, specifically about like artificial characters, um, or artificial intelligence that, um, as things get more realistic, um, as like, as a character gets more realistic, um, it gets more unsettling, um, as it goes along. Um, so like it gets endearing, like, oh, this looks more and more like a person. And there's a point right before it looks completely realistic and convincing where it's, where it's horrifying. Okay. So think like uh, the, uh, the the that Tom Hanks movie, The Polar Express. You ever seen that? Yeah. Yeah, like how unsettling all that is. That's that that that's in the Uncanny Valley. Okay. And and uh, you know, in this exciting time with your uh, with your Oculus Rifts and uh, and your artificial intelligences and the fact that uh, the 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 uh, pornography and adult entertainment industry always leads the technological revolution. This is something that uh, that that uh, entrepreneurs and inventors are desperately trying to get through. Right. Okay. And one of the biggest problems is when you have a dead rubber girl, she just kind of lies there, right? There's no, there's none of like the, the, the intimacy. There's none of the give and take, you know? So you know, like, just, I'm not even just talking about like, uh, uh, you know, like acknowledging them and talking to them like a person because I mean, come on, please. Um, but more like, you know, the dirty talk, like you, you talk to them and you have to imagine it. It takes you out of it. It brings, it brings it there. However, this is something that the, uh, that the, uh, the real doll corporation, um, is trying to um, overcome, right? So Matt McMullen <clears throat> is developing uh, Siri for sex dolls. Okay? okay. And, and what this is, this is a, uh, a $10,000 mechanical head. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, so what you do, you buy this $10,000 head. Mm-hmm. And you and you pop it onto your existing real doll, right? This mm-hmm. is this is an open source modular system. This mm-hmm. is this, this is entirely Firefox Web 2.0, um, Android consistent development cloud. Sorry, I I, I thought I was at work for a second. Um, <laughs> um, and you pop it on there, and even though the rest of the body doesn't move, uh, the face uh, does a full on Teddy Ruxpin where it blinks and moves its mouth and, uh, will talk to you and will respond, uh, to your questions, uh, by being internet connected so that they can do, uh, vocal recognition. You can program in like personalities and stuff like that. Okay. And so this is still a couple years down the line. Um, <laughs> I would encourage you to look up videos of this because it is legit. Some of the most upsetting footage I've ever seen. And I'm not a prude, right? Like I, you know, like I don't, I don't necessarily. Again, I'm, I'm, I, I try not to judge people. I don't judge somebody if they spend money on a real doll or whatever. But when you see a disembodied head sitting on a pedestal talking back about how how it loves it, <laughs> I love it when you hurt me. Like it's, it's like something out of a Cronenberg movie. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I'm doing some quick math here. <laughs> quick math on a ten thousand yeah. dollar mechanical head for your yeah. for your dead rubber girl. All right, I, under my plan, your plan. So you ye- like you you've kitted out one of these, right? No, no, no. I, I have an alternative. <laughs> okay. All right. You you just <laughs> bear with me here. You can have sex with with my real doll, which is essentially just the real doll you have for 13 years for $10,000. Assuming that you have three five-minute sessions mm-hmm. a week for 13 years. Oh. What you're going to do is you're going to dial up a sex line. <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay. You're going to duct tape that shit on speakerphone to the, to the head of your real doll. <laughs> <laughs> this is automated phone sex? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you, so you're so you're rent. That's that's perverse, Chris. You're wrenching out your girlfriend's mind. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Think about how messed up. Because like, if this thing is worth its salt at all, it's going to learn you. It's going to learn your preference preferences. It's going to know you know which what what you like. But if it's, uh, the, if it's the same uh, head, 
Yeah. How your huge meat is hurting me. Well, no, actually, I'm very modestly sized. That's nice no, of I'm you just, to say. I'm but just take... saying, like, you know. Huh. Like, you could do that. Yeah, you, you, so you could rent this out, but, like, what's stopping you? Huh. I'm sure that's a thing. <laughs> Merge right in 1.4 miles. <laughs> <laughs> wrong way. Wrong way. <laughs> Make a huge turn. Recalculating route. Oh, I'm sure there's a... I'm sure there. I'm sure there's a a, a a butt sex joke in there, but I don't want to make it. I don't want to be that person, Chris. Right. Yeah. Families who bury loved ones whose body has been looked at by a medical medical examiner are generally not burying their whole bodies. Oh, is this like a canopic jar kind of thing? Mm, I don't know what that means. Well, but I, just, I assume it's something that they put on the Thanksgiving table. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you know we've got we've got we've got a nice we've got some squash. Uh, we have we have an ear of corn, and this is this is this is Meemaw's liver. Your coopic jar is overflowing. <laughs> Can, uh, no, canopic jars. Those are what the Egyptians put their uh, pharaohs' brains in and stuff. Oh, the the, the cat ones. Yeah, yeah, the cat ones. Uh, the, yeah. the, 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 it's it's uh, the, what the guy who spits the spits beetles is. The after. cat, the cat pots. Yeah, cat pots. All right. New York's highest court ruled uh, that. The fact that these medical examiners don't return the whole body is just a okay. The unusual case involves the death of the 17 year old Jesse Shipley of New York City in 2005 in a car crash. After his parents buried him, classmates visiting the morgue on a field trip months later noticed his name on a canoptic jar with a brain inside. Okay. The parents got it back, had a second burial, burial, and sued the city. In that case, they won uh, like 600 grand. So, but, so, so, so this guy's slinging parts on the side. No, they're just like putting them in jars, huh? Eating jars. Oh, just to like, just like with a, like a little bit of jelly, like a, like a nice preserve. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So they figured out that they don't have to, <laughs> they don't have but to get, like, they like can keep souvenir. whatever they want. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like this is like this is, so. What if I keep if if I keep a preserved hand as some kind of like uh, some kind of like toothbrush holder? You know, this is America. They're saying we don't have a law <clears throat> that says you have to put back what you can legally take out. There's nothing says a dead kid can't play basketball. Nothing in the rule prob- says, and we probably shouldn't. <laughs> Quote: and This is in a judge's written ruling. Sometimes that organ stuff is evidence. Right. So other times it's science. Do they have to keep it? Even when it's not those things, bear in mind, even when it's not organ stuff or when it's not evidence, the dead person is dead already. Let me put that all together for you. Sometimes that organ stuff is evidence. Other times it's science. Even when it's not those things, the dead person is dead already. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Stop that, it. That was the written ruling by a, a judge in New York. You're living in the past. The dead person parents. is dead already. <laughs> the dead person's dead as fuck. Sorry, your kid's dead as fuck. Dead as fuck. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, speaking of which, mm-hmm. the, the kid and our grandma had some sort of conversation. What? About death. Oh, your kid and our, yeah. okay, and our yeah, grandma. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. And so the, the takeaway, and I have yet to call grandma about this. And, and, but and the, okay. The takeaway from this conversation is the kid doesn't have to feel sad if people die because she's going to see them in heaven. Okay. <clears throat> but when they see them in heaven, they won't love her as much. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's some varsity level kid trolling right there. <laughs> So I gotta call the I gotta call the GMA and find out what what was really said. Okay, but don't worry, I'll see you again. But Daddy, you won't love me as much. <laughs> you know, Daddy just thinks I don't really have a lot in common with you anymore. Like so, I've... like this is kind of played out. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I guess you can come along, but you're dead as fuck. I'm dead as fuck. Yeah, it, you know? like. Is is it like we're like we're, we're we're all up here to love Jesus, and so we have to we like we have to like just bring it back a notch for everybody so, else. Yeah, I don't. But you know, mommy has new priorities. So or daddy, whichever. Yeah, yeah. So I said, hey, okay, uh, 
what? And then, <laughs> and then I, I mean, I asked some, some probing questions. Yeah. And she said, well, in heaven, everyone loves everyone equally. And she said, plus, you get a whole new body. You're going to look completely different. So I wouldn't even know you unless you walked up to me and said, hey, I'm your dad. <laughs> You just have to you get a whole new body? And then I thought, well, shit, if I was going to do that eventually, why didn't I do it like nine years ago? <laughs> get a whole new body? No. What? I'm going to have to like, if I'm just going to be gone and have to be like, I could I could show up on her 18th birthday and say, hey, I'm your dad. Just the same as I'm going to in heaven. Yeah. I, I I'm, I'm curious about this whole new body thing, actually. You get it. You get a new... You get wings, man. Well, yeah, but like that's that's an addition. That's an expansion pack. That's not a sequel. <laughs> wings are an expansion pack, Chris. Huh, it's an it's a it's an aftermarket add-on. Like it's get... is the idea that like you're like you you're you're going to appear you're going to appear you're going to look how you looked when you <laughs> felt the best, right? Like the the, the ideal version of you. I sure. I that, guess I don't that, know. That, that makes me think about doing it. Yeah. <laughs> about what? Huh. That that seems like that would be the best way to recruit. Oh yeah, just to say like, hey, we're gonna get the idealized version of you. Yeah, like Jenny Craig does it. They all fucking do it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's transformation, right? Like ninety nine percent of what people are trying to sell you is transformation. Yeah. And yeah, I see that. Lindsay lost seventy six pounds in heaven. <laughs> well, that's because she died by losing both of her legs in that car accident. <laughs> well, <no. laughs> well, the wings really help in that situation. They do. <laughs> yeah, they work. Yep. Can, can, can I replace the wings with hover with uh, with jet legs? Uh-huh. Hoverboard. Uh, like just um, a, yeah, a, a hover a hover crotch. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. Yeah, that 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 was that that huh. that, that happened. So I got to call the G Mall and find out. Yeah, I'd be I'd be curious. I like the I like the idea that um in in uh in a kid's mind, if everybody loves everybody equally in heaven, that means that there is less love for you because it's spread around as opposed to what I would interpret it as, which is you love everybody and everything as much as you can possibly love something. Or is love not especially if 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 uh you are not loved more than uh the other stuff around you or the other people around you. I don't know, but I don't know whether this came from church and Greg because she went to church with her this morning. Oh, okay. And in, and in kid church, they made a, they took a a clear like uh like rocks glass, plastic rocks glass, mm-hmm. and they put a pipe cleaner handle, so it made it like a little bucket. Yeah. And then they put one of those like dollar store, uh, like battery operated candles. Yeah. In 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 the bucket cup. And Emma said, look what I made. And Gma says, yeah, do, do you know what that stands for? <laughs> and I wasn't thinking. And I said, <laughs> I said, they're coming by land. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't it? Were you no, wrong? it was something about the eternal light or something. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. JFK is great. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're still mourning that. Chris, this is related, but uh, whenever you're walking outside, you got to watch your step, right? Sure. Never, never going to step in uh, in uh, some 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 dog leavings. You never know if you're going to step into uh, you know this like on somebody's a, plants, a wood chipper <laughs> that fell down a manhole. It, <laughs> Chris happens every single day. <clears throat> Oh, well, I'll tell the story, but I've got another thing because it's related to the to the medical examiner thing. I think we I think we got a lot of like uh, like you know tread on these tires for the medical examiner thing. We can we can get some Quincy material, but no. Um, if you're in uh, this uh, place in Upper New York, um, this uh, n- uh, Northern New York village, you better watch out because there might be brains. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Residents discovered nine brains on a street near the railroad tracks in a place called Governor this past Wednesday. What did, huh? Yep. A veterinarian determined that um, one of the brains was professionally preserved in formaldehyde and that, um, don't worry, these were just brains from dogs or sheep. 
<laughs> oh, not human brains. Must be science, then. but but still errant brains, not all of which have been preserved. <laughs> okay, so maybe this is like you know that prank. It was like like a high school prank where you get where you get four of something, like four of something living, and then you uh, or sorry, three of something living, and you number them one, two, and four. That way, if they find all of them, they're still looking for three. Mm -hmm. That uh, that formaldehyde one might actually be a. Uh, it might actually be some kind of red herring. To throw yeah, I've been watching a lot of bones. Throw them off the scent. <laughs> I can see that. Um, yeah, so these had been uh, professionally removed, so there's there's nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about at all. There's a uh, there, there's a funeral home in my neighborhood that is up for rent. Okay. I was walking down to the to the coffee roaster yesterday, and I and it just it was the first time I really noticed it. There's a there, there's a funeral home on the corner uh, of of Oakley Square. Oh boy, oh. people can uh, can triangulate that uh, has a for lease sign out on the front of it. There was nothing more yuppie that you could have ever said. <laughs> what walking to a coffee I was roaster. walking to my coffee roaster when I noticed a funeral home for rent. <laughs> And my thought was, I wonder if I could kickstart a year's worth of rent and make that into a studio space. You know, come on down to the funeral studio. It could work. Oh, it would have to work. You have space for death metal. We're counting on it. <laughs> this has to work, Chris. This so has to work. Yeah, I was. that was a pretty, that's the reason I was walking down there to get some coffee. <laughs> hmm. A coffee roaster. Yeah. Okay. I don't think they roast it there. It's just a location of a local coffee roasting chain. It was a nice it, place. That's the first time I'd been there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to stay on the brain train. Okay. Brain train. When members of the four tribe in Papua New Guinea ate the brains of their extended kin at funerals, it was a way of paying respect. Until they got Kuru. The Kuru Brian disease happened. Yeah. That uh, it leads to dementia like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, turns out that they ate so much brains <laughs> that their DNA, their genes changed to the point where most of the population of that tribe mm -hmm. developed immunity to, yeah. the, to the brain eating. I mean, if everybody who is susceptible to that prion dies, then that's selection, right? Yeah. Huh. But it turns out that in the 1950s, 2% of, po of the population died every year from Kuru Prime. 2% two, 2 of this, of, of, of this village, of this, of this yeah. culture? Yep. Huh. Which is not a whole lot. That's, that's not, I think that that's like, it's probably played out because it's so unusual getting, get, you know, getting brain parasites from eating other brains. I wonder how much of our population dies of like heart disease and cancer, like where that's where that stands. So we need to start eating heart. Yeah. To gain its strength. Huh. Yeah. Because, because everybody knows that, uh, that life and especially diet, it's uh, it's like playing a mega man game. You got to braise a tumor. <laughs> it's tough. It's like kale. You have to, you have to, you have to uh, braise it a little bit just so you can, <laughs> so, you, so you can unlock it. It, gotta, it gets, it gets the nutrients out. Got to put it in a smoothie. <laughs> a tumor smoothie. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah. Now you like. Oh man. Now, now I'm just picturing like the like the tumor farms where they where you harvest tumors for smoothies, where you just get a bunch of sick people and lock them up and expose them to radiation so they get new growths. And then you just harvest them. You just take a couple of them off and leave them chained up. Oh God. <laughs> what? That's how it would work in this in in this sci-fi world where tumors are currency. It's way worse than an Asian hair farm. Ugh, is that a thing, really? No, I don't know. Probably. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Asian hair farm. Is that one of those things that I really shouldn't, that I really, really shouldn't Google? Well, I don't know, man. <laughs> Mind's eye, buddy. I, I don't know. Okay. You can Google it if you want to. Asian hair farm. Huh. I, can, I can only assume that's why all Asians have bush. <laughs> well. Wait a second. So Hair Farm is the name of a 3D Studio Max plugin. Um yeah, no. Huh. Well no, it, no it's H A R E. <laughs> H A R E. It would be a more more of a ranch. Yeah. Asian hair ranch? Ugh. 
Oh no, I guess I guess in Vietnam women sell their hair for extra income. So neat. Yeah. Yeah. No, so this is yeah, I read that like so, so people people saw that and thought, "Huh, we can probably boost people's immunity to to different brain diseases. Like could, could we cure could we cure Alzheimer's by having people eat Alzheimer's brains?" But that is not true because their improvement only came at the, you know, after multiple generations of doing this weird thing. Weird to you. Weird to me. Yeah. Cultural rel- 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 you know, relativism. I don't know. It seems strange when you, <laughs> when you have a whole society where eating people's brains is custom or is it, yeah, is, is the custom. It, it seems pretty hard to defend that because whose brains are being eaten. Like, huh. I don't know, man, just a whole bunch of brains. We got brains on the brain. Ooh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, Marge and Homer get legally separated this year. I saw that for some, okay. So I'm not sure how Facebook suggests news stories to me, but yeah, like I've seen a bunch of that. They get legally separated, but I'm not sure if it's going to be for an episode or not. Yeah. Or nobody knows gonna, how long. Yeah. Because like they, they, they got divorced at one point. They got they, they they got divorced. It was in the episode where uh, where uh, uh, Lou uh, what's her name Lulu Van Houten and um, Kirk right. uh, got divorced, and so Homer divorced her behind her back so they could get remarried and uh, start over again. And um, they've been separated a couple of times. They separated in the in the Simpsons movie, but also uh, in in the episode I forget what he does. But Homer gets kicked out and lives in the treehouse, and Mo tries to come in and uh, swoop her up with uh, with some posies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, never, never legal. Like, are they going <laughs> to, what if they, okay. So with, uh, with Harry Shear leaving, are they going to try and Archie's place this bitch? Like, are, are they going to, like, are they going to spin off and reconnoiter so they can get rid of a bunch of uh, cast members, but keep the, uh, keep the money makers? Marge is, Marge is a single mom. <laughs> it's two separate shows. Trying to make it work in Chicago. <laughs> Why would they go to shit like that? It's it's always been it's always been fictional locations. Oh, she works in an Asian hair farm. <laughs> She's got enough hair. Why does she need more hair? Struggling with carpal tunnel from scissor hands. <laughs> scissor hands. Huh. Maybe they live like Willy Wonka's family. Or like Charlie from Willy Wonka's family. Willy, 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 Willy Wonka's, Wonka's family, yeah, right. Well, Willy Wonka kind of seems like uh kind of seems like an orphan to me. <laughs> so he doesn't seem like somebody who's had a lot of a lot of strong guidance in his life. <laughs> Spinal drip of LSD. <laughs> yeah. I don't know that I have any good stories left. Like, okay, what do you want to hear about? Do you want to hear about somebody doing something crazy when they're bored? Or do you want to hear about upskirts? Something. No, I, I don't really want to hear about either of those. Oh, okay, things. cool. So I'll let you do a story if you have one. Yeah, the price of stamps is going down by three cents. Really? Yeah, some th- those three cents put the put the postal service in the black, buddy. Huh? Or it was just a temporary change, and uh, they're fighting to keep it high. That's so, weird. Yeah, the, the 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 price increase was like temporary. Hmm. Has that ever happened before? Have stamps ever gone down? No. Yeah, that's weird to me. So if I mail if I mail something with a well, I guess they're forever stamps, so it doesn't matter. There's no value assigned. Right, because they're going to be around forever, damn it. <laughs> I hope so. We're not going anywhere. I like the Postal Service. I don't like the Post Office that much, but I like <laughs> the Postal Service. See, they built it in because, you know, because eventually there's probably going to be discussions like, hey, we might na- not need this anymore. Mm-hmm. But then they're going to be like, but we issued forever stamps. Ha <laughs> ha, it's a loophole. Right. We have to be around to honor these. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. I'd still rather ship something through USPS than UPS, though, or Why? FedEx or whatever. I just can't. Feel like you're doing something for somebody don't you no no i don't feel like it's charity i feel like it's easier to work with <laughs> yeah that's what you got to do for your postal carrier is give them some tampons <laughs> quit saying tampon <laughs> this has been those damn muskets Hey, they made a uh, marijuana infused K cups. Ugh, I've thought about that before. I've thought about why don't people make, you know, drinkable marijuana. Mm-hmm. But it must just taste god awful, right? 
I don't know. Like I, I can only imagine. Like I can't imagine the oil on that tasting, tasting good based on how it smells, right? I don't know. I mean, brownies don't taste that bad. I've now, yeah, I've never done an edible like that. But I think that isn't the principle on an edible that you surround it with something that is that that tastes so good and so overpowering on its own that it can't that you can't taste the other thing. I called it chocolate squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, why am I picturing a shit-covered squirrel? <laughs> because that's what it looked like. <laughs> no, that, that's what uh, like everybody in college who did shrooms they would uh like they, oh, they, they yeah, always, they those, always hit. I, I never did shrooms, but they smelled and they smelled horrible. So I can't even imagine how they taste. Yeah. Well, no, like everybody that I knew who did shrooms, they 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 ate a lot of McDonald's because what what, what you had to do, like they, they they described it, they said it tastes kind of like McDonald's hamburger meat. So you go and you get a McDouble. And you sprinkle your shrooms, you know, under the bun, and then you eat the cheeseburger, and then the walls move and you throw up for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which sounds great to me. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, I just remember fucking with somebody on shrooms once. Yeah? Yeah. I ran my, like, I waved my, my hand across <laughs> in front of their field of vision. <laughs> And then I just kept doing it real quick with both hands. Oh, and so I was going shroom, shroom, shroom. <laughs> so you, so you looked like somebody with crazy, uh, crazy like flesh fans at the end of your <laughs> shroom. Yeah, like planes going by. You know? Yeah, <laughs> here comes the airplane. Bra, 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 bra. Huh? Hey, Chris, want me to tell them what they should do? Please. I think they know. You know, we've got the Facebook group, we've got the uh, the iTunes ratings and reviews. All of those are a tremendous help, and also telling friends um, if that's your thing. Uh, I'm working right now to make it so that you can download all of the old episodes, like get them on the same feed. Uh, that is just something that takes a lot of time to do, um, and time is not something that I have at a premium. So it's uh, it is slowly working across the network that all of this, uh, you know, everything will be be available for one feed. But if you're looking for some of those old shows they are on the site you can go back and find them they're just not um on the rss so i think that is the psa for right now anything else you got it all right sorry america sorry <laughs>